What's going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, uh, just bringing you guys kind of an update video on, uh, I guess, kind of where I've been over the past week. So, uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you're probably wondering where I've been. I haven't uploaded a video in now, I think, a full week, and um, there is a reason for it. It's not because I've been lazy or anything like that. It's uh, <laughs> It was the hardest week of my entire life this past week. Um, I got a call early Monday morning, um, this past Monday, from my stepmom that my uh, my dad had passed away in his sleep. Or we think that it was kind of in his sleep, I guess. We don't really know 100% for certain. Um, my dad uh, my dad suffered from sleep apnea. If you guys know what that is, it's a, it's a disease where, uh, as I understand it, basically your body kind of almost forgets to breathe in your sleep. So he would actually sleep out on the couch a lot of times because my stepmom uh, would wake up all the time because he would, you know, he would be snoring super loud and then he would stop snoring and that would scare the hell out of her because, you know, she would think that he had stopped breathing and that kind of thing uh, because he refused to wear his mask, of course, the, the medical mask that they give you to help with sleep apnea that's supposed to make it so that even if your body does forget to breathe that it kind of uh, picks up and, uh, and continues to breathe for you. Um, but that's, you know, that's besides the point, I guess. Um, what I'm getting at here is that, uh, he, he had passed away, um, on the couch on, uh, early Monday morning. I, I, th I guess we're, we're going with sometime between probably midnight and probably 5 a.m. And we don't know exactly when, um, but, uh, we did get the, the report back later that afternoon. Actually, they got it back really quickly because it was a heart situation. Um, and I guess that's something that's fairly easy for them to figure out. So what had happened is that he had an embolism actually in his heart, uh, or I guess it was in an artery and it broke off and, and goes to your heart. I'm not a medical expert or anything, but, um, it was an embolism and apparently it was very quick, probably relatively painless, but, um, you know, nonetheless, very, very shocking for our family. Of course, um, my dad was 48 years old which uh, for those of you who uh, don't know, I'm 29. Um, and my dad actually had me when he was, uh, when I, when he was 18 is when I was born. Uh, I know the math doesn't kind of make sense at first, but he was born early in the year. I was born late in the year. But anyways, um, so he had recently turned 48 years old. He, he was a young dad when he had me. So it's, uh, you know, so unexpected. Of course, uh, you never expect that your parents are going to pass away when you're young. Um, and I still consider myself to be fairly young, at least uh, under 30, <laughs> technically, just barely under 30. Um, but, you know, all of my grandparents are still alive. His parents, both parents still alive. Uh, his brother's still alive. It's a younger brother. But um, my other, on the other side of my family, all of my grandparents still alive. I've never lost anyone close to me ever, which I've been very thankful for. But... Um, you know, this one, of course, being that it was my dad, was uh, very, very difficult on me. It was very, very difficult on our entire family. We are going to miss him so very, very much. Um, words don't even begin to explain how how painful this whole situation has been. Um, but uh, you know, having my family around me, I, my sister flew in from Colorado, and um, my stepmom, of course, being there. Um, it's been very helpful as far as that stuff goes, and, and my uncle's been very helpful, and even my grandparents, despite the fact that they were obviously very sad to uh, have to lose their son. Uh, but, you know, we've gotten through it as a family, and, and you know, I, I wouldn't be able to uh, get through any of this without my wife and now my daughter. Um, my wife was the most helpful person that I could have ever possibly imagined throughout this whole thing, this whole past week. Um, and my daughter, you know, she's way too little, obviously, to, to help with anything. But what she helped with was kind of keeping everybody's spirits up. We'd bring her around because, you know, she's, she get kind of bored, you know, sitting around all the time and, and planning the funeral and that kind of thing. But when we brought her around, it was she was always so smiley, and it, it kind of brought everybody's spirits up, I think. And that was very important, obviously, to to everybody, including myself of course but um you know having to plan your own dad's funeral um it, it's not even something that ever crossed my mind and it, it just sucks uh it really really sucks and that's what i've been doing for the past week and that's the reason that i haven't been uploading anything to my channel i i literally have barely even been home over the past week uh today which is monday the day that i'm recording this uh, a week after uh his passing 
um, that's really the first time that I've even been home for a full day. So other than that, we've been planning the funeral. We've been checking out grave sites. We've been, um, you know, contacting musicians because we actually had uh, live musicians play at his funeral because uh, he was such a big live music fan. He, I mean, he and my stepmom had tickets to two shows for, for you know, Saturday and Sunday of this past week. So he didn't get to attend those, unfortunately. But uh, my stepmom still did attend them with uh, family members. We, m Myself and my wife went on Saturday night, but um, she still went to the show on Sunday night as well. So kind of in his honor, I guess you could say. But uh, anyway, you know, just there's been so much that went into the planning for the funeral and I'm happy to say that given the situation of my dad passing away it really went as well as I could have ever possibly hoped that it would and I'm sure that if he had been able to be there that he would have been enjoying it as well some you know one of his favorite musicians Brady Pearl actually played at the uh, at the funeral which was of course uh, heartbreaking in a way but uh, it was also really great because it, it, he wouldn't have wanted it any other way. The only thing that I could say that he would want differently uh, that we did at the funeral was, uh, you know, the little hearse ride over to the, the graveyard or to the cemetery. It was pretty slow. Uh, and I don't think my dad would have appreciated that. He was a, a, an avid motorcycle rider um, that regularly went way too fast. Uh, and I always thought that, you know, if he was going to pass away, it was going to be from something like, you know, going way too fast on his motorcycle, getting into an accident or something like that, which, of course, would have been just as tragic. But, um, like, you know, kind of more under his control, I guess, than this whole thing was. But, um but anyways, we, we all kind of got a laugh out of that because, you know, Joe wouldn't have liked that. He wouldn't have liked how slow we, we drove over here. And, you know, everybody kind of got a good uh, chuckle out of that at least. So that kind of lightened the mood a little bit at the cemetery itself. But, um, you know, I just uh, I want to thank everybody as well. Um, I posted something on um, I think it was Tuesday. Possibly, it might have been Monday. I don't even remember now. Um, a week ago, I guess, about a week ago. Anyway, um, so I posted something on there that uh, my dad had passed away, and uh, the amount of support that you guys gave me was just tremendous. It, it really meant so much to me, guys. Um, reading your comments and, and people that had gone through similar situations or, or even people that were just extending their condolences and uh, saying that, uh, you know, their hearts are with me and my family. It, it meant so much to me, guys. It really, really did. It, it brightened my day. It helped me really get through this whole thing. So I just want to thank you guys for all the support that you gave me, all the retweets, all the favorites, and um, all the comments, everything like that over on Twitter. And I know people are going to leave comments in this as well. Uh, there might even be a troll or two, but... Um, you know, guys, I just want to say that I really do appreciate all of you guys uh, who have gone to my channel, who have stuck around, uh, and who understand that if in this type of a situation, it really does have to be that family comes before YouTube, unfortunately. Um, so thank you guys again for all the support. I, I really, really do appreciate it. I'm feeling mostly better now, so I am planning on getting back to, to the YouTube grind here in the next day or so. Um, I might even edit a video tonight if I can uh, really you know, get the time to do it because I'm still kind of busy with uh, trying to get back to work and things like that. But if I can, I'm going to try and edit a video tonight, and then uh, I'll definitely have something at some point for you guys tomorrow, which is going to be Tuesday. So that's going to be something for you guys to look forward to. I Again, I really, really do apologize that I haven't been able to upload anything, but I, I hope you guys do want understand. So with that being said, it's been kind of a long ramble, uh, but I, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what had happened. And um, and uh, just again, thank you guys for all the support. It really does mean so much to me. So thank you guys. Thank you to uh, everybody who reached out. Um, thank you, obviously, to my family if anybody sees this. But um, again, I will talk to you guys uh, over the next couple of days here on YouTube. We'll get back to the Madden content. And we might be doing some Battlefield stuff, some WWE stuff, potentially, that kind of fun stuff. Um, so hopefully you guys will stick around for that. Um, talk to me in the comment section if you want to. I'll probably be responding to just about every comment, as, as I always try to do. So uh, thank you guys again. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys understand. And uh, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.